we're going to talk about um, back in our sketching we're going to talk about move copy and scale so we're going to left click on our front view again left click and select sketch we're going to uh, let's pick different rectangle so this one is gonna allow me to click from corner to corner so left click um, you don't have to hold the left button down and you choose where you want to left left click again that creates your geometry and let's add a couple of uh, reference pieces so that's the midpoint of that line and now you got to be careful because sometimes when you have a lot of geometry in here you can be off slightly and you're expecting a horizontal or a vertical relationship in this case where you can see the yellow um, the yellow box right next to my cursor it's telling us that once I make this left click it's gonna give it a midpoint relation and a vertical relation so we're gonna click on that and left click and that ends it um, okay now we're gonna left click here left click there right click enter or you can hit the escape to get out of it now one thing I'm gonna do is just add a point here left click on that point left click uh, actually let's back up left click on the point hold your control button down and left click on the origin and make them coincident alright now it's obviously you've seen um, a more efficient way to do that but I just want to show you that there's absolutely more than one way to uh, solve, an, solve a challenge here alright uh, let's make this five Let's make this nine. Okay, so now we're going to add just um, a couple of circles here. Okay. Let's make this guy a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, the, wh how I made him smaller was I left clicked on any part of him and you just drag once you release it there's your new there's your new size so left click and release left click drag and release all right left click on the center of this circle hold your control button down actually let's uh, let's make it more visible all right what I'm attempting to do is line these circles up without laying down geometry or dimensions so we're going to use relations left click on the top circle hit your control button hold it left click left click and you can release your left mouse uh, you can release release your control button and give it a relation we want to line it up in the y direction that's vertical so we're gonna say vertical we left click on that lines all the, lines them all up alright now let's say we need to move them we can window over them left click and drag that moves them um, and there's also a move icon right here and you can move, copy, rotate, scale, and stretch. We're going to talk about move and copy. So you saw how to move them. And now we want to copy them. All right. So we're going to window our selection. We're going to select copy entities. And over here it's going to show us these are the three entities that we want to copy. Of course we want to keep the relations. Why do that again? And now here is going to be from and to or X and Y. I usually use the from and to because we've added relations. And we just need to say we need to select a starting point. And obviously, 
a good starting point is always um, something that you snap to like uh, like a quadrant or in this case we're gonna snap from our center point so our starting point is going to be the center of this circle and I want to make it coincident with this reference geometry and left click so we've now successfully copied those and let's say we want to uh, scale them so now we are going to go into uh, the, that particular toolbar <laughs> and we they're very they're light blue because they are selected I'm going to select the middle one here and 